Hey everybody, Cupmaster Chris, welcome back to Corona Cub Scout Corner. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of flag etiquette. Okay, so let's talk about indoor flag ceremonies to begin with. Indoor flag ceremony typically has two flags for scouts. You'll have the American flag and you'll have the Cub Scout flag. Now one thing I want you to remember is the American flag always goes on its own right. What does that mean, on its own right? Okay. If you are the American flag bearer, pretend you are holding the American flag. If there is any other flag on your right hand side, you are in the incorrect position. You need to move down until there are no flags on your right hand. That way, you will, you will always be in the right position, okay? So, I know you've sat at concerts and whatnot and noticed an American flag. And generally, it should be, either hanging or on the left-hand side of the stage. Why is it on the left-hand side? It's on its own right. It's not, it should be on the right. No, it shouldn't. It should be on the left. So I want you to, to put yourself behind that flag on the stage, like you're holding that flag, looking at the audience. Is there any flag to your right? No. Is the stage to your left? Yes. Then you are in the correct position. There is nothing on the right of that flag. Everything is to the left of that flag. So the flag is set on its own right. Okay, so now we're gonna move the flags forward. So you need to remember this. The American flag always needs to be the highest flag. So if you have a, a Cub Scout flag, if your pack or troop has a Cub Scout flag, and your Cub Scout flag just happens to be a little bit taller than your American flag because you have a little bit bigger pole, you are doing it incorrect. The Cub Scout flag should never be taller than the American flag, nor should any other flag, especially from any other country, could never be higher than the American flag, okay? So, while you're marching forward, the American flag should always be in front of your Cub Scout or troop flag also. So remember, the American flag always leads. When you get to the front, so as you're, as you're walking up in between everybody, the American flag is on the right hand side. When you get up to the, to the flag holders, now the American flag needs to be on the other side, doesn't it? So then we're gonna to need to cross. How do we cross? You could be polite and let the Cub Scout flag go. That would be incorrect. You let the American flag go. So I wanna go into salute before we go any farther. So before the flag, when the flags are being brought forward, Somebody should say, will you please rise for the American colors? So we should all be standing. Inside, somebody should also say, Scout salute. So you should be saluting at that time. Remember, Cub Scout, two fingers to the corner of the eyebrow. Nice and straight, at attention. Okay, Scout salute. Remember, this is attention. So, okay. If you do not have a Scout uniform on, then you put your hand over at your heart, still at nice attention, right? Okay, we want to look sharp for Scouts. Okay, so now we've got the flags to the front. Now they need to cross. How do we do that? The American flag goes first. The American flag will cross in front of the Cub Scout flag. The American flag never lets another flag in front, okay? So you get to your position, and whoever's calling will say, uh, call guard halt. So they may say, Will you please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Scout salute, and you should already be at salute at that time, but everybody should help place their heart, hand over their heart, due to the pledge. In order to drop that salute, what is the call? It should be two, right, two. So hold that salute until you hear two. Now, somebody will say, uh, color guard post colors. So the color guard will post color, they'll dismiss the color guard. The color guard, while we're saying the Pledge of Allegiance and, and anything else, including if you were doing the oath or law before they post the color. Do not salute. They are the color guard. They are guarding the colors. So until those colors are in their position, meaning whether it's a flagpole or, or a flag post or holder, they are guarding those colors. So when whoever's calling says color guard post colors, they post colors. So at that point, somebody, whoever's calling, will say color guard dismissed. At that point, the color guard salutes the colors and falls back into it. Okay. 
outdoor. Outdoor, generally, you are already standing. If you're in a sitting position, they will probably ask you to all rise. And if you are not, again, you should be standing for the flag to come forward. It will not be unfurled. It will be folded is what it will be. It will be folded in the triangle that we learned on the other video the other day. Okay, so that flag will be held by the color, the flag bearer, and you'll have color brown. So they will bring the flag forward. You don't salute at that point because it's, because it's folded. So they will bring it up. They will unfold it. They will snap it to the line. You will hear scout salute. At that point, you salute. And they'll run it up the flagpole. And you'll do your Pledge of Allegiance. And then they drop the salute. Okay, so when we're going to do a closing, then it's very similar. We're going to... We're going to start with the salute because we're saluting the flag as it's being lowered right when do we stop when do we drop that salute we don't drop that salute until it touches our color guard's hand so salute flag coming down color guard grabs the flag two that's it at that point the flag should be being folded in it's 13 folds if you don't know about the 13 folds please check out my other video. Okay, so this is a, a quick run over of a little bit of flag etiquette. I hope it helped everybody. Uh, have a great day. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon.